the troll hunter. So, someone bothered to make a movie about a guy who hunts internet trolls, huh? Wow, I gotta check this. What's that? It's not internet trolls. It's about troll trolls, like living under a bridge. Well, is it a foreign film? Oh, thank God. Then this will be amazing. So, not only is this foreign, but it's made in Norway. And there is only one reason I respect the Norwegians. Dead Snow, the best and only Nazi zombie movie ever made. <clears throat> Sorry, but it's true. Alright, so a movie about the old, legendary trolls from the days of old. What's the Norwegians take on it? Well, a group of three filmmakers go out and find this mysterious hunter, whom everyone believes is a bear poacher, due to all the mysterious bear deaths that's been going on in the area. Bjørnejeglisens er bare noen ytterst få utvalgte som har. Jeg kjenner absolutt alle bjørnejegere i Norge. Han, Karn, han lander over Karn. Han er definitivt ikke noe bjørnejeger. Hvis han er ute og skyter på bamsen vår, så da gjør han noe ulovlig. Har du, har du sett han? Vi ser han overalt, vi. They meet him at his trailer and attempt to interview multiple times, but he blows them off and tells them to leave him alone. Strongly dedicated to getting the story, the trio goes so far as to stalk him as he goes into the woods late at night. Wait. Three college filmmakers in the woods, filming the events they go through, with an unnatural thing at the center of why they're doing anything. Nah, I'm not gonna go there. Where they find him running toward them shouting, and he reveals that trolls are real, and that whenever he kills one, the troll security agency, haha, uh -huh, come in and make it look like a bear was killed there, leaving a bear corpse, or... Is that supposed to look fake? An attempt to leave bear traps. They then join him as he's trying to find out why the trolls are leaving their territories and getting dangerously close to the nearby towns. Helt exakt. Vad är din jobb? Nei, min jobb er jo... ...drepe alle troll som bryter ut av revirene sine. Og nærmer seg folk. Hvor ofte bryter de ut av revirene? Veldig, veldig sjelden, men nå har det oppstått en spesiell situasjon, i og med at det er mange troll som åpenbart har brutt ut og virrer rundt i området her. Finn, han er en uh, byråkrat som uh, leder TSD, og hans oppgave er jo først og fremst å hindre at folk får vite at det er troll i skarren. På en måte av ordre så er det jo kanskje en av Norges største helter, hvordan... Uh... Nei, da tar du feil. Det er ikke noe heltemodig å lede i, men det er skittent grov arbeid. Throughout this movie, we see a variety of trolls like the Ringlefinch, the Tusselad, the Jotun, the Mountain Kings, the Harding, and the Dovregubin. I think I said that right. I apologize if I didn't. And they all have their own specific design, so you can't mistake one for the other. I find it fascinating how they manage to incorporate not only the folktale parts of trolls, but also from classic stories as well, like A Troll Under the Bridge. But also, if a troll will, like, kappspise me today. Kappspise? Yeah. Asbjørn Stromos stemmer ikke helt med virkeligheten. I think it stemmer ganske fint, eh? So, with all that said, what exactly did I like about this movie? Everything. Oh my god. Wow. I mean, I heard about this movie, no one really suggested this to me, I just kind of found out about it by accident thanks to the internet, and I just have to say, I loved it. I love everything about it. Period at the end. Now, on a sadder note, there is word that they are currently working on an American remake, because the person who came up with the idea said, quote, Troll Hunter was very visceral, thrilling cinematic rock and roller coaster ride of a movie. 
Visually, there are scenes in this film that American audiences have never seen. We want to introduce an international audience to this amazing movie-going experience, end quote. I agreed with the first sentence, but that last sentence? I don't know what to say other than why not just show them the original movie? God, it's like saying, well, people haven't seen Rex, so instead of showing the original, let's remake it and call it something totally different. Now, it's not the Americans alone who are at fault for adding another foreign film to the god-awful remake that ruins the original pile. Oh no, the original producers sold the rights to remaking the movie. Now, that being said, the original producers are also a part of this project, for they will be producing the remake, obviously. So hopefully, they'll try to keep it true to the original. And please, let me say right now, I don't mind a foreign film being remade as long as it's made right. Meaning that it's entertaining and brings justice to the original. And sadly, the track history for foreign films made for American audiences hasn't been going so well at all, in fact. So really, the more I think about it, the more I hate the fact that they're going to remake this clearly superior movie. The original is the only version we need. To end this on a lighter note, if you love trolls and if you love found footage films, much like myself, then you're going to love the hell out of this movie. minst mulig inngrep i norsk eh, natur. Eh, jeg tror ingen, det er i hvert fall hyggelig å få mennesker i Norge som synes at kraftledninger er pene. Jeg synes ikke det. Eh, I Norge er vi jo, men i Norge er det sånn at vi er for strøm, men vi er mot strømledninger. Eh, og det, det går ikke lenge. Norge er troll, sånn at det, det kommer til å være behov for flere strømledninger i Norge. Eh, og sånn er det. Ja, da runder vi av det.